if we are cooking something and we're using something hot, then as of now, sort of the standing order is that it's one of the adults who will do this. When you are ready to demonstrate to us that you can do this safely, then you may do this. Sometimes with frying things or boiling things in, in certain limited spaces where we feel confident enough that we are not taking a risk with the child's health, then we would do it. How I see that evolving is as they get more confident, they will want to experiment more and then they will, we will figure out ways how they can get a license to do things. Right. Okay. Because I mean, we, we've had that whole licensing thing going on at home with our son. So oh, at okay. a fairly young age, he was using knives to cut tomatoes and things like that. So initially, I was standing right behind him with my like, heart in my mouth and like, is he going to cut himself? Is he going to cut himself? But then after a few iterations of that, I was more comfortable just being in the room. And now it's at the level where I don't even need to be there. Mm -hmm. There are knives he could access that he isn't, in my view, able to use safely. But... Mm -hmm. We have an understanding on that, that if he wants to use it, he would ask, and then we would be around to support him. Right. As long as he's interested that we would support him. So we we don't have to be very specific about it anymore, that mm -hmm. understanding exists. But at school, yes, so far, the knives are used only under supervision. There have been, on, at the earlier place, there was a child who was climbing the boundary wall. And then some other children came and informed us and said, so-and-so is on the wall and we don't think it's safe. Mm. So the immediate thing is, okay, please come down and let's go and talk about this. So mm. then what is the concern? We are worried that he might fall and uh, fall off and hurt himself. Now, safety is one place where we can sort of impose our authority because mm -hmm. we believe that that's part of the expectation of the parents that, you know, we, we would exercise judgment in deciding whether somebody could hurt themselves. So I said, you know, because in this case I have the authority, my understanding is that this was probably unsafe for most of you, but given this particular child's history, it might be safe for him. But what I suggest is if he wants to do it, he does it while I can observe him. And if I believe that he is in control of himself up there, then he can have the license to do this. And then that opportunity also obviously extends to anybody else. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.